Hey y'all, it's your girl Stephanie. This is Wrestling Color Podcast right here on YouTube. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure... Hmm. What else are you supposed to be making sure you do? Turn on the notifications so you know when I come to town that you need to come on around, right? See what I got going on, what I'm talking about. Um, hit me up on Pinterest. Hit me up on Instagram. Those are the two places that I'm active. And I hope you got into the content. You know, I have a lot of uploads. Last upload was, whoa, two months ago. I didn't even realize that. Unapologetically unprofessional. Love to see it. Naomi, Sasha Banks. Two months ago, stepped away from WWE, never to return. Since then, a whole lot, a whole lot has been going on. And I've been sitting back and I've been watching and taking mental notes. Why has it taken so long to come and speak and see what's going on with you guys? I'm wrapping up my summer semester. My son, you know, hanging out with him. I still do my internship as well as work a regular job. It's like I got two jobs and not enough time. Well, I got three jobs if you want to add motherhood. No, motherhood's a joy. That's not a job. Let me, let me scratch that. But um, I've been watching. I've been watching. Not so much wrestling content. I haven't been watching AEW. It comes on Wednesdays. I'm usually not off Wednesdays. And I'm going to be real honest with you. I'm kind of like dialed out of AEW. Um, I have questions that no one seems to answer. Like, if Jay Cargill is 500 days in as TNT champion... Why hasn't she gotten a shot at the AEW Women's Champion? I just, I want to know, like, what's next after that? Shouldn't she be the top? Kind of like, kind of like the Intercontinental Championship in WWE was the next step to the champion, the main championship. Or the United States Championship was the next step to the main championship. What is the next step for Jade? She should be going into the main championship conversation, I think, at 200 days. I don't know. No one answers those questions for me. But the biggest thing going on, as we all know, Vince McMahon stepped down from the WWE. He stepped completely away in his way of retiring at 77 years old. They wanted to make sure that you knew he still has a major stake in the company in terms of stocks, which I think that's going to come to an end when he starts selling those stocks. Stephanie McMahon and um, the other con are co-CEOs. They have reinstalled uh, Triple H back into the vice president of talent relations, which was the Bella Twins stepdaddies. Uh, position. They then threw that man out and up under the bus. Uh, Bruce Pritchard is still floating around. Don't know what's going to happen to that. Uh, and Kevin Dunn, who is the guy who handles the cameras and does some other stuff, he's hanging on to, right? He's the one that gives you convulsions when you watch any WWE programming because he's flipping the cameras every which way. But loose, and in some cases misses the entire uh, match because he's flicking the camera all over the fucking place. So, not to really like recap the whole scandal because it's a scandal. But the problem I'm having <clears throat> is something that I talk about a lot with you guys. And the people that probably should hear this aren't going to hear this because I'm not no big time, no big time uh, internet uh, commentator or, you know, I don't troll to get people riled up and come follow me. I like to be steady in the conversation that I'm having. And I like to stick with what I'm trying to convey here. The problem I'm having with the way this whole Vincent McMahon situation is playing out. If everyone seems to be forgetting that when you have a position of power, there is something called ethics 
that is at play. And this is why morality, code of ethics, uh, if you're religious, why these things are necessary in some stations of life, if that makes sense. I work with kids who have some complex behavioral issues. One of the groups that I run is like a lifestyles group. This past week, I ran a group that talked about having a moral compass. Some type, some type of set of rules to live by. That way you don't go off of your trajectory in life. These children that I work with between the ages of 13 and 16 have no conscience, no impulse control, no moral compass. Some of them didn't even know what a compass was. So we had to go from A and work our way to B. Some of them were not interested in the conversation until I got riled up and cut loose to let them know why they need some type of moral code in order to stay out of court mandated programs such as mine. We did come to a resolution and understanding at the end of this hour and a half group. But to get there, their parents have no moral code. Hence the way the children came out. These children are not from single homes, by the way. These children are in foster care, some of them. And some of these children are still with their parents in two-parent homes. Why am I telling you all this? Because for some odd reason, ethics on adults is lost. Ethical behavior is the reason why Vince McMahon, is the reason why Donald Trump, is the reason why Bill Cosby, is the reason why R. Kelly, is the reason why that lady who got 20 years uh, taking them people on that boat and getting them kids down at that island and we still waiting for who was getting them kids at the island. Y'all know who I'm talking about. It's the reason why these people are, are brought to task and have to step down from position of power. If you ever watched the, the TV show Mad Men, real good TV show, I watched a couple episodes. It is set in the 60s in like this high powered um, advertising company. And it shows you the position of power that these men were able to wield at this particular time because at the time, women were placed in a role. And men had their role. And these roles were re were enforced. So when you think of the people that I just said, these people grew up in a time where women stayed in the kitchen. She talked back, slap in the mouth. Children were seen and not heard. Some children were even used to promote the Industrial Revolution. Before the Humane Society included children, the Humane Society was focused on animals before it included children. I just want you to know where children are in the rungs of society. That is why people feel the need that they can handle them any which way. Children cannot speak up for their own autonomy. Children are abused, ate up, put through the ringer, and, 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 and barely get any kind of justice. There are people still leaving their children in hot cars and still coming out with the, oh, I forgot, oh, I was in a rush. You wouldn't leave your fucking phone in a hot car, but somehow I'm supposed to empathize with you leaving an entire human being that came out of somebody's pussy and your balls in the back of a hot car to die. With that being said, ethics is the reason why Vincent... Kennedy McMahon is stepping down. Is he stepping down because he has a conscience? Absolutely not. Most millionaires and billionaires do not have conscience. Conscience, They do not. Okay? Is he stepping down because he loves the WWE community and then now forever together? No. He's stepping down to save face. He's stepping down because shareholders have stake in the company and he's stepping down because it looks terrible for ethics reasons. Okay? I just saw a clip of Stephanie McMahon, I think somewhere down into the um, Make-A-Wish Foundation. 
I don't know who this lady was. I don't know if she's the one who invented the Make-A-Wish Foundation or whatever. But Stephanie McMahon and Drew McIntyre were doing a ribbon cutting for like a ring. And it's like a museum type setup to show all of the superstars that help make wishes for terminally ill children. Okay? It was a beautiful scene. Stephanie was given all... You know, Stephanie knows how to exude that energy. Her father taught her well. She knows how to sell it. Right? So you you see something like that. And then you juxtaposition that to the chairman of the board. And that shit looks terrible. Period. So when you go to WWE's community and their statement. Inclusion. Our mission is to promote a culture of inclusion and respect. Through programs and partnerships to educate enrich, empower, and create a positive commitment to family, community. WWE champions celebrate commu champions of hope, champions of strength, champions of change, champions of community. Together we are inspiring the entire WWE universe to rise up and join us in supporting the causes we believe in. Our champions reflect the code we live by. Show respect. This is the code. Live your passion. Lead by example. Stay curious. Be a storyteller. And always give back. Okay? Connors Cure. Higher Heroes. Special Olympics. Make a wish. You have all of this family oriented stuff. But your chairman of the board and CEO has no ethics and pays women that he done fucked off, not to say nothing. Family man. Vincent McMahon is married with two children. Did that did was that missed? I don't I'm I'm not sure why in this conversation the m morality of it all is missed. WWE has something called anti corruption and anti bribery reminder. This is on their website. From time to time, the company provides reminders about aspects of our code of business conduct. This is a reminder that the code of conduct provides that all dealings between WWE and or its affiliates on one hand and third parties on the other hand shall be carried out with the highest standard of integrity and in compliance with all relevant laws and regulations. Corrupt practices are not acceptable in our business dealings. Our code of business conduct can be found and it gives you the list of the governance and the code of conduct. WWE said that they value integrity and transparency and have zero tolerance for corrupt activities of any kind. Unauthorized payments or acts that create the appearance of promising, offering, giving, or authorizing payments prohibited by this policy will not be tolerated. This policy applies to all company affiliates worldwide, subsidiaries, other affiliates, and each of the employees, officers, and directors, including all part-time temporary employees, independent contractors, third party. If you deal with WWE, you will hold to a code of conduct. These improper dealings will also be subject to specific anti-corruption laws, which carry very significant penalties, such as the Foreign Corruption Practices, Sam Bannex Oakley Acts, and the UK Barbary Act. Okay? Then they have a list of fair dealings, and all of these things are right here to tell you that WWE knows what they need to be doing to have a family friendly, excuse me, a family friendly and, 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 and uh, ethic, ethically run company. So when Stephanie McMahon came out Friday and she, you know, spoke on her dad and things like that, I'm not going to hold Stephanie to no weird standard. I, 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 have a, I have have a dad. He's passed on. But I'm going to always give my pops the respect in the public. Now, I might get in his ass in the private. Now, who's the state Stephanie and say, you fucking idiot, to her dad? But in the public, she showed face 
told her dad she loves him and wants him to move on. I'm not going to sit here and be like, the way y'all motherfuckers do on the internet, he need to die, he need to do this and that. That's somebody's father, grandfather, whatever the case may be. Y'all the ones that said you need to remove the, 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 the man, the artist, from the artistry if they're terrible people. You can like something and the person who uh, so-called quote-unquote invented it is a jackass doesn't mean you can't like stuff. A lot of people are turned off by WWE because of the CEO and the things that they have done over the years since he's bought this company from his father. Okay? And other company promotions have emulated WWE's practices in terms of how to get eyes on the product. That's a turn off. I even stepped away from WWE naturally during um, a lot during like the Bella Twins era, Ruthless Aggression era. During the, the Attitude Era, I was there. The 80s, I was there. I came back. Um, uh, I came back in the Punk Era. Like, I've stepped away from WWE a couple of times. And went over and watched WCW or pulled up old wrestling. And then I came back. One day, you just sit down, turn it on. you just like, oh, WWE, what's going on? Then you get enthralled. Because you're just like, oh, these motherfuckers are still doing this crazy shit. Because that's what happened. I sat down, I turned the shit on, and I said, I don't know who these people are. Let me see what they was doing. And they was doing some wild shit. And I said, let me, let me, let me, let me get back into it. And I've been back into it. You know what I mean? McMahon reportedly paid different sums to four women. He was accused of paying two women hush money at the alleged affairs sending unsolicited nude photos and sexually harassing a female employee and coercing a former female wrestler to give him oral sex and then, retali then retaliating against the wrestler when she resisted further sexual encounters. The statements on Friday, of course, when he retired, naturally didn't mention the investigation. Um, everyone pointing out the timing, of course, is going to coincide to whatever the stakeholders and how to, how to let them off easy so people could just move forward. Somebody has to, somebody has to take the fall. It's his company. He needs to take the fall. Now, is he going to learn from it? No, because he's not, he hasn't showed no kind of remorse. He's come out two, three times. He can't show up on WrestleMania, came out through, uh, two, three times to show y'all that he's here. Fuck what they're talking about. And you all bow to him and eat it up. And eat it up. You question the women. When you read stuff like this, I've seen people say, yeah, well, they took the money. So what that mean? I listen to Jim Cornette essentially call these women whores. Okay? And I read the comments and y'all like what Jim Cornette has to say. They're whores because they took the money. The, they're whores because they went along with it. When we talk about R. Kelly, I just had somebody on, on, the, on the internet go nuts because I said R. Kelly was a predator. And then they tell me, well, you don't know what's going on. I saw the video when the video came out of him pissing on those, those young girls. 14, 13 years old. I was there. I saw. I used to hear the rumblings of R. Kelly going to high schools and buying Jordans for the high school girls and taking them back to his dungeon. I remember all of these things before the internet. Puff Daddy even has a salacious past. Why no one talks about it? I don't fucking know. I remember when Usher, the singer Usher, Worked with uh, Puff Daddy in the beginning of his career, and Usher's mama said, oh no, the fuck we won't, and took him down to Atlanta, and now we have the Usher that we know who worked with Jermaine Dupri and so, so, that. I remember those things. Okay? I could give you all kinds of things. I remember that everyone was just like, well, that's how it goes. That's how the men do. Oh, well, she shouldn't have did it. Harvey Weinstein. We can sit here and ask ourselves, why did all these women lay up with this man, suck this man off? Why are they so fucking ambitious? And we can sit here and we can play this game and we cannot ask the question. If you are in a position of power, you cannot wield your power unethically. Do you know what happens when powerful people wield their power unethically? Unethically? You get people like Hitler, Mussolini, Donald Trump, Ronald Reagan. 
King Leopold, Cecil Rhodes. Do I need to go on? The people who rule their power ethically, you get Martin Luther King, you get Malcolm X. You get uh, who else got murdered for ruling their power ethically? You get you get celebratory in death and become infamous when you do the wrong shit, right? The Nation of Domination was a a a, a face group, but because they were promoting black a uh, black liberation, they somehow became heels. Right? Right? The story the story gets to be told by the conquerors. Ain't that how it goes? No ethics whatsoever. When power, when people get in positions of power and they wield that power unethically, you have what we have going on right now. People talk about, oh, the 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 the, the, the what do you call it? The the election was stolen. Oh, NT for this. Oh, problem was that. Oh, we can go storm the, the Capitol on January 6th. Well, they was blowing up and, and burning down communities. Black BLM was burning down neighborhoods and communities. Well, why can't we go and do a whole coup de tie on the United States? It's the same thing. That's what happens when ethics and moral compass are removed from human consciousness.